Hi, good morning Gary. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 18th of September 2023. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name, for the record please? My full name is Gary Lauren. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 299399499. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Next, we can move to the warm-up session. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right, Mihira. What do you like most about being a nurse? I like most the fact that I can make a difference in people's lives. It's incredibly rewarding to know that I'm helping people heal and get better. I also enjoy the challenge of the job and the opportunity to learn new things every day. What do you find most challenging about being a nurse? The most challenging thing about being a nurse is dealing with difficult patients and their families. Sometimes, people are scared and angry, and it can be difficult to know how to best support them. I also find it challenging to work long hours and to be on call. Why are you leaving your current position? I'm leaving my current position because I'm looking for a new challenge and an opportunity to grow professionally. I'm also interested in working in a different setting. What are your strengths and weaknesses as a nurse? My strengths as a nurse are that I'm compassionate, organized, and detail-oriented. I'm also a good communicator, and I'm able to work well under pressure. My weakness is that I can be a bit of a perfectionist, which sometimes leads to me taking on too much work. Tell me about a time when you had to go above and beyond for a patient. One time, I had a patient who was very anxious about her upcoming surgery. I took the time to sit down with her and answer all of her questions. I also made sure to check on her frequently after her surgery to make sure she was comfortable and doing well. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patient, or perhaps a relative, and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No, Mahira. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when the three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role-playing card, if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
your preparation time is over. You can now start your OIT speaking role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Good morning. My name is Gary Lauren, one of the nurses in the pre-surgery clinic. For verification, can you please tell me your full name and age? Good morning, Gary. My name is Mahira. I am 60 years old. Mahira, can you please confirm the reason for your appointment? Yes, I have been told that I need to get tested for MRSA. Thank you for your details. I understand you're here for a preoperative assessment before your knee operation this week. Do you have any questions for me today? Yes, I'm a little confused about the MRSA screening. I know I need to get tested, but I don't really understand why. Oh, I see. No problem, Mahira. I will explain the necessity of the test. MRSA stands for Methicillin-Resistant Staphylococcus aureus. It's a type of bacteria that is resistant to some antibiotics. MRSA is commonly found on the skin and in the nose of healthy people, and it usually doesn't cause any problems. However, if they enter the body through a wound or a medical device, they can cause serious problems, especially if they are resistant to common antibiotics. MRSA is one of these antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which means it is harder to treat and can lead to complications. The purpose of MRSA screening is to prevent the spread of MRSA infections in hospital, where people are more vulnerable to infections. By identifying people who are carrying MRSA, we can take precautions to avoid transmitting the bacteria to other patients or staff. MRSA screening can help reduce the risk of complications and improve patient outcomes. That's great. Now I understand the importance of the screening. Well, I would like to know more about what the screening involves. Sure, I will brief you about what the screening involves. The test involves taking a swab from the nostril, wound, or other body site and sending it to a laboratory for analysis. The results will be available within a few days. Do you have any other concerns, Mahira? I understand. But, what if the test confirms that I have MRSA? Mahira, your question is valid. If your test is positive, we will give you a prescription for an antiseptic body wash, an ointment for your nostrils. We will also ask you to take some extra hygiene measures, such as washing your hands frequently and avoiding contact with other people's wounds for the next five days. Once you have completed the treatment, we will retest you to make sure that the MRS is gone. If your second test is negative, you will be able to have your surgery as planned. That's fine. By the way, even if my test is negative now, I'm a little worried about picking up MRSA in the hospital. Could that delay my surgery? Mihira, your concern is natural. And yes, it's possible, but it is unlikely. We take strict precautions to prevent the spread of MRSA in the hospital. For example, all of our staff are trained in infection control procedures, and we have a rigorous cleaning and sterilization regime. We are constantly monitoring our facilities as part of infection control and to provide a better safer environment for the patients. Now, can you consent for the screening? Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about it now. I'm happy to have the screening. Great. I'll just need to take a few swabs from your nose and groin. I'll send them to the laboratory for testing, and we should have the results within a few days. Thank you for explaining everything so clearly. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that's all. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Have a great day. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the very best. Thank you, Mihira. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.